so to get started you're going to be needing your basic bodice pattern okay so i have my basic bodice pattern i have to put this fabric on top of an um on top of this wrapper because it's white and you know my table is white so you can see what i'm doing so here i folded in my front and back uh, fabric if you don't know how to do this basic body pattern i have a video on that check the link in the description box below so i'll use this now to cut out my my fabric okay so i'll cut the back neckline first then let her remove the front and cut the front neckline so i'll pin down I'm using a bridal satin. So after cutting now, I'll open up my zipper part. And I'm going to use this to cut the lining. And also... I will also use it to cut out the nets. If you've been following my kiddies video, you know I like placing nets over the bridal satin for the upper bodies. Okay, so I'll use that now. Cut lining and cut the nets. Okay, so here I have the lower part. So all you need to do to get the lower part, this is the main fabric and this is the lining. So all you need to do is to get your measurement, your accurate measurement, then you deduct your half length on it. Use it to cut the um, the main satin for the down part. Okay, so the the net should be longer than the bridal satin, and that is why when you fold this, the edge of this, and join when you fold this, the edge of this is going to reduce. Then the lining should be two inches or one and a half inches shorter than the main fabric the main satin okay so you can use about one and a half yard to two yards of fabric both the fabric and the net because i don't want it to be bulky like this is for a three months old baby okay she's actually two months but i'm using a three months old measurement for her because she's on the bigger side so you cut your nets into the how many layers you want it because I have about four layers here so I have about four layers of net here I will go to my machine now to gather it okay then I'll go to my machine now to gather this also and gather the lining also remember to hem the down part so I'll do that now and I'll get back to us so for the belt i decided to add belt to it so i have the length of 11 here i need a 10 inches um, length belt so by the time i finish sewing this and use half inches to sew it in on the upper bodies i will be left with 10 inches so you can leave it like this or you give it a shape you can shape it out like this it depends on what you want Okay, so it totally depends on what you want. So you give it that shape and cut out. So you go now to sew it, okay, and turn it out and give it a good press okay so for this i said i'll cut the lining and the next fabric and i will go gather this up okay and i'll show us what next to do this um fabric so this dress is going to be having a cap sleeve yes it's going to be having a cap sleeve so let me draft the cap sleeve too so all you need to do is to get the sleeve height okay so for the sleeve height i wouldn't want it to be too long okay so i'm using about two and a half inches for the sleeve height okay then i'll add 
um half inch for sewing allowance making it three inches for the wideness i wouldn't want it to be much so i'll use about two and a half inches for the wideness okay so all you need to do is to it's very very simple from this wideness this is my wideness two and a half inches just give it a curve just curve it like this okay and there you have your cap sleeve so this is for the sewing allowance sewing allowance and this is your cap sleeve okay so you cut for your main fabric and you cut for your lining so this is what we have so guys i've gone ahead to prepare my lower the lower parts fabrics i've um, gathered my two nets i've um, gathered my two nets to my waist size as you can see okay so gather yours to the waist size i've gone ahead to turn my um belt and iron it flat then i've gathered my satin <coughs> my brother satin and hemmed it okay gathered it also to the waist size and also gathered my lining equally so let's move over to the upper part so for the upper parts you're going to this is the sleeve we made i i cut four so one will serve as a lining for the two sleeves okay so you go ahead to hem the lower part right side facing each other like this and you hem then after hemming you top stitch one side that will serve as your lining you do that for the two both of them okay so so for the upper part like i mentioned earlier i always like to place a piece of net a piece of net on the satin so i've gone ahead to cut it out so i'll go now to place it on it remember we are always doing it finishing in this um in any of our kiddies ball dress okay so this is not an exception so i'll go ahead now to sew my lining separately the shoulder so i'll join the shoulder separately the main fabric the shoulder separately then i'll use it to turn the neckline okay i'll use it to turn the neckline and i'll show us how to fix the sleeve so guys i'm done i'm um, turning the shoulder and the neckline separately the shoulder is turned separately then i used it to turn the neckline for the front and the back so now to join your um cap sleeve this is what you're going to be doing you measure out 1.5 from the shoulder this is the shoulder here the center of the shoulder so you measure out 1.5 up that is for the front or you can go in two inches you can do two inches so you can do two inches or 1.5 anyone that is remaining then you gather it okay so let's do two inches for front and two inches for back pin your cap sleeve remember the place you top stitch is now your um the uh back of the sleeve okay so this is the middle of my sleeve you can see i have a pin there so place the middle at the center of the shoulder then you pin down the sleeve at that your two inches pin down your sleeve at the two inches do the same thing for the other side okay you pin it down here again two inches then you join okay whatever that is remaining just gather it you can see to have some excesses okay 
So as you sew along, you just gather it up. Okay. So I'll go now to sew this down. Then I will use my lining. This is my lining. So I'll use my lining to cover it like this. Okay. I'll use my lining to cover it like this. And sew the remaining side. You know how you turn your sleeveless now? Just the same way you turn sleeveless. Sew it down. Okay. And bring it out. So let me do that now. But I'll first of all sew down the sleeve to keep it in place. Okay. So guys, see our cute little cap sleeve. Very cute and small. Okay. So I'll go now to use my lining to turn it like this. So repeat this for the other side of the sleeve. Make sure your shoulder is matching. I'm After stitching round your notch, you know that this is a curl to ease the seam lines. You give it a notch and you turn it out. So from this end, you turn out, turn it out, just push it out gently. this is our cute little cup sleeve for a cute princess and um, this is the inside you can see how neat it is in the inside okay on the inside okay so repeat this process for this other side so I'll do that off camera now and I'll show us what next to do so guys this is our cute little cup sleeves okay see the inside very neat inside see this one very neat so if you don't understand what i did watch the video over and over again you will understand it okay so um i'm going now to close the two sides so before closing the sides you need to attach your belt okay you need to attach your belt to half inch like you leave half inch at the waist because of joining the down part then you attach your belt like this okay so this is how the belt is going to be so you put it like this remember to leave a space of half inch then you pin down the front side of the dress I leave half inch then pin down your belts okay so lining to lining fabric to fabric they'll meet at the arm hole okay so you sew down i used one inch sewing allowance i left one inch sewing allowance so i'll use my one inch sewing allowance to sew it down i'll do this for the two sides and i'll show us what next to do so um the next thing to do is to join the lower part and of course at this point you can serge your upper part okay you can serge it so for joining the lower part all you need to do is to bring your gathered lining and the gathered net and join that's it so i'll start with the lining first so i'll look for the center point of the lining and match it to the center point of my upper bodies okay so i'll use this to indicate the middle so right side facing each other So, 
to right side facing each other I will join them together like this so I'll do the same for the lower part join them together just match them up so yeah you can see it matches perfectly so i run my straight stitch down so i'll repeat that for this um the bridal satin and the net so the net the bridal satin will be inside while the net will cover it up like this so you can use a straight stitch to hold them down together as one fabric Okay, you can run a straight stitch to hold them down before joining it to the upper bodies, or you can use pin, whichever way you want it. Just make them to be worn. It will be inside like this. Okay. Then you join it to the upper bodies the same way I'm joining this lining. Okay. So I'll do that now and I'll get back to us. So this is a mini ball dress okay for a three months old we have a ball dress class a course on telegram so if you need the course do well to chat me up on whatsapp and you gain access to the course once you pay so i'll finish this up now and do the the other one the one with the two necks and i'll get back to us on what next to do which is fixing your zipper and embellishments and the dress is ready so guys at this point this is how your bow dress should be looking so this is the outer part and this is the inside okay your bow dress should be as neat as this even the sleeve was turned in so if yours is not this neat that means you didn't follow the steps so the next thing to do now is to finish this dress up so how do you do that by adding your zipper and embellishment so at this point you should know what you want to use for your embellishment you can use anything of your choice anything you like okay you can use anything to embellish this dress okay so i'll leave you guys to your creativity let your creative creativity guide you through i'll embellish it and i'll show us at the end of the video what i came up with okay so for now let's fix the zipper so to fix the zipper so for this rough edges you can sedge it like i said before you can sedge it or um you can use your bias to bind it okay but i just used a lighter to um place around the edge and it stopped um fraying it stopped it from fraying and this is okay for me since the lining is going to cover everything up so this is what people will see when they turn it in you can see it's very neat okay so so to fix your zipper make sure that the two waist they are meeting each other okay so okay so after pinning the waist then you come down by three inches or more depending on the age you're working with so since she's just two months okay since she's just two months i'll be coming down by three to four inches for my zipper oh i can just do three inches three inches is fine so here is three inches make sure you're when you're pinning pin down everything the whole net Pin, make sure you're, you're, you're holding the whole net, all the nets. Make sure you're holding them together, okay? Then you pin. 
so from this three inches you saw about two to one point five inches okay you saw about two to one point five inches i'll do one point five inches so this is where i'm going to sew from this three inches to one point five inches mark okay i'm going to sew it down this is the only joining that will hold um the the satin and the net remember this, we are just sewing only the only this main fabric now the lining is out this is the lining it's out of it so you use the lining to cover it up later okay so after this now you sew down your net you can see how i pushed the satin out this is the satin you can see how i pushed it up from this place you stopped immediately sew down your net only the net the satin is not there again what does this help uh, your dress to do it helps it to eliminate pore at that um uh the back side so you sew only the net make sure you're starting immediately where you stopped you sew down only the net So after this now, you after trimming, you push the net inside. So push the net inside and complete this down part. So after that, you fix in your zipper. I believe we all know how to fix our zipper. Okay, fix in your zipper and embellish, embellish your dress and your dress is ready. So... So I'll go right now to fix in my zipper, okay? I'll fix in my zipper and embellish this dress and I'll show us what I've made. So to fix in your zipper, you just fix on the upper part and use your lining to finish it up, okay? It's as simple as that. So I'll go right now to fix in this zipper, okay? And embellish my dress and I'll show us what I've made at the end of the video. Please like this video if you're watching to this moment. Like, share, comment. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe, okay? And just know that you can always reach me out on WhatsApp in whatever fashion issue you are having or any video you want me to make for you. Just reach me out on WhatsApp. My number is always in the description box below and I'll insert it on the screen, okay? Just feel free to chat me up or just to have a chit chat with me, you know? Let's talk. I, I like chatting with us. So I'll go now to finish this dress and I will see us at the end of the video, okay? Just fix your zip and embellish your dress and you are ready to go, all right? So I'll do that now. So guys, this is how cute the inside of your princess dress is supposed to be to avoid any discomfort. Everywhere is toned and we don't want anything to choke her or pierce her or, you know, just all smooth and clean. Now, let me turn the outside of what we've made. Can you see? All clean. Clean. So pretty and cute. So I had to use flat pearls and thoughts to embellish it. Is this not too cute? So cute. So, so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see us in my next video. Bye.